Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Rise Podcast. I'm your host, Josh, and today we'll be talking about bullies and how to deal with them. So if you don't follow me already, go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram and YouTube. It's rise underscore podcast 1111. So let's get right into it. So um, when it comes to dealing with bullies, now this goes with, you know, kids or adults. It doesn't really matter. It can go both ways. It's really important to know your worth. So if you don't know who you are, you don't know how valuable you are, then the words of a bully or anybody around you, you'll basically be affected by whatever they say. Even if it's positive things that don't pertain to you at all, you could be affected. It's really hard to shield that out when, you know, this world, I mean, from people, social media, all around us, we're influenced every day, right? Knowing your worth, knowing who you are, knowing what you stand for is one of the best shields against any bully. And a bully could be anyone. It could be your boss, your wife, your husband, your friend, your parents. It could be anyone, right? And it doesn't necessarily mean it's their intention, but sometimes bullies could be bullies when they are not even intending to be one, right? You know, bullies are, are essentially hurt individuals that put other people down. They put other people down and make themselves feel better about themselves and about their life. Another good way to, you know, deal with bullies is if you have family or friends that can hear and support you, speak up. And this is mainly for kids too. They feel like they have to deal with life on their own and that's not true. And they feel like they'll be, you know, judged, embarrassed or so on. So it's best to speak up because if not, your voice is never heard and the damage continues to be, you know, put on you. For kids, if it's happening at school, let an adult or staff member know, or teacher or a counselor, don't keep it quiet. Because, I mean, like I said, it just makes things worse. It never gets resolved. It just continues, and you're the one that has to suffer. Regarding adults, and when it comes to bullying, I mean, walk away, create boundaries, verbally tell them how they're acting, let them know what they're doing and what they're saying. Let them know you're not okay with it. You're not okay with what they're saying and doing to you. Let it be known. Stand up for yourself. If you're an introvert or, or don't really speak up, you, I mean, you have to learn to. When things are out of line, you need to learn to say, you know what, this is not okay. This is making me feel X, Y, Z, and you need to stop. If they continue, then that's when you can take it to the next level. If they make it physical, adults or kids. If they make it physical, I've heard so many point of views, but honestly, if they turn it to physical after, you know, verbally abusing you, then that's when you have the right to defend yourself. Now, before they even get physical and then you get physical with them, then that's not okay because, you know, not now it's going to be on you. The blame's going to be on you. Adults or kids, doesn't matter how old you are. So if they get physical, push them back and say enough. If, if you don't have the opportunity and you're not able to tell an adult and they're right in your face about to hurt you, then yeah, defend yourself. Push back. Put your hands up. If you don't know how to defend yourself, no problem. Take a self-defense class or like jujitsu, boxing, Muay Thai, some type of kickboxing, some type of self-defense where you can defend yourself and only use it for defense. There's so many people and not just kids, but adults. And I'm speaking for myself as well. It's so valuable to, to learn a self-defense class, even if that means breaking a barrier in you or overcoming your fears, not even for bullies. It's always best to look into that and to try it out because it can build your confidence. You can basically, um, you know, walk in life standing tall instead of kind of hunched over and just allowing people to walk on you. No way. Also, another great tool, of course, is reading the Bible. You know, Google... Bible verses that relate to who you are and your true worth. I mean, it all comes down to you rather accepting what they're saying about you or doing to you or knowing your worth and knowing how to say no, learning how to say no. Push back, like I said, verbally or physically in self-defense if necessary. And also depending on the situation. Don't take the bullying personal though. I mean, since you're not the problem, essentially the bully is. And like I said, make boundaries. It's easier said than done, but forgive them and protect your thoughts, your heart, and don't fall into the lies that they try to tell you about your appearance or who you are because the only one that knows who you are is God. 
These people, they only have their opinions and they stick it in your face to make themselves feel bigger and better and righteous and not in the wrong. But realistically, God knows who you are. He's the one that created you in the first place. And these people that are trying to physically or verbally or emotionally abuse you, they know nothing about you. They only see what they see on the, on the outside. And even with that, they're still inaccurate of what they say, what they think, and what they try to vomit your way. Don't be brought down to their level either. I mean, have compassion towards them and understand that they're broken individuals on the inside. That's why they're doing what they're doing. It could be a bully at school. It could be your boss. It could be your parents. It could be anybody. People are, this world is broken. This world is hurt and offended and very sensitive nowadays. People will, will try to get under your skin to break you, to make you act out or lash out because they want to get that reaction out of you. And they want, and, and they seek that attention as well. You know, they're, they're hungry for that attention. And remind yourself too, you're not a victim. You're a beloved son or daughter of God. You're beautiful on the inside and out. And nothing or no one can change that. No matter what they say about you or do to you, that truth stands. And it's in the word of God. So no one can counter that. No one can say, oh, well, actually, no. I wanted to bring up these points because this happens to anyone, no matter who you are. It could be when you're very young, when you're a child growing up, or it could be even be an adult. It's too common. That's one of the things that really make me angry when I witness bullying, or if I see or hear about someone being bullied or being treated unjustly. That really, I'm really passionate about that. And I'm really glad that I finally made an episode on this topic because people need to know that you're not, it's not wise to stay silent. I know your thoughts are probably like, oh, I mean, but what are they going to think about me? They're, they're going to call me a rat because I told my teacher when it comes to kids, or they're going to think that I'm weak, or they're going to think, who cares what people think? I mean, this is your future on the line. You know, this bullying doesn't just stop. Once you're bullied and you allow it to happen, and then say if you move or whatever and you never see that bully again, the bullying will continue because other bullies will be able to see your timidness or your fear and they feed off of that and they can feel it. They can see it and they could see and feel and sense that you do not stand up for yourself and they could walk on you. People will try to make the excuses. Oh, I'm just playing, man. Why do you, why do you got to be so sensitive? No, 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 man. Like I, there's a difference between joking and crossing my boundaries. And once you let them know that and give them a heads up and say, hey, man, you know what? I don't mind joking. And I'm going to give you a perfect example. Okay. I'm going to use myself. If somebody jokes with me and if they talk about God or make it a little too personal, I'm going to be like, hey, careful, man. There's things I joke about, but there's also things that are forbidden. You don't, you don't touch on. And I need you to stop because it's not funny. And there has been countless times that I myself have stayed silent. I haven't said anything because I worry about their opinions or how or I worry about an awkward situation. Forget all that. This is something that all of us struggle with, even myself. Learn to speak up, forget about it being awkward or them not seeing you the same anymore. It's better than being physically, verbally, or, or emotionally abused because it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop unless you push the brakes on it and say, no, enough. I don't accept this. This isn't cool. If you don't like that, then hey, I'm sorry. You're going to have to deal with it. If not, bye. That's not okay. Boundaries are not easy to set. Like the effect of bullying could, people have killed themselves. Kids have killed themselves because they believe the words and the opinions of these people saying, oh, you're this or you're that. Let me give you an example too. Like say if it's a kid at school and, and he's bullying your kid at school and he's saying, oh, you wear glasses, man. You're never going to find anybody. You're never going to be found attractive. You're a dork, blah, 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 blah you're overweight or you're too skinny or you're too short. All of these things are just nonsense. People think, well, there's obviously attractive people and not attractive people wrong. People have different interests. You might think that a tall, like say if you're a woman and you might think a tall, muscular man is attractive, but then there could be another woman that thinks that the chunky guy with glasses and stutters is adorable as heck. You know what I mean? So there's no such thing as, oh, no, he's attractive or, or, or they're unattractive. No, that is your point of view. But the other person next to you or somebody 
across from you could think, well, you know what? No, I was never really into muscular men or tall men. This is actually my type. This is actually what I'm into. So no one has the right to put down a kid or put down even an adult and say, oh, because of you don't, because you don't have these features and these characteristics, you're ugly. You're not attractive. You're a failure. You're a loser. Nobody likes you. Those are all lies. And that is because they have been abused themselves. They have been told and taught that. So to make themselves feel better and feel on top of those insults, they're going to go and do it to someone else. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter if you're 80 years old. Anyone can do this. And everyone has done this at one point in their life. So it's really important to recognize it. Don't, don't see yourself as a victim. Okay, people nowadays, they feel bad and say, oh, you know, and then they throw a pity party. You are a beloved son and daughter of God that was made for a reason and a purpose and a great calling. Everyone has different gifts. Everyone has different features. Everyone has different characteristics that God made himself. So next time somebody tells you, oh, you're not good enough. You're never going to do this or that. and, And they try to just like, press you down and stomp on you, say, well, that's not true because God says this, this, and this, and walk the other way. And if they keep pushing your boundaries and and try to grab you, defend yourself, push back. If there's no adult around, or if there's nobody to help you and you don't have time to tell somebody or speak up, they're in the moment trying to hurt you, then push back. If they push you or grab you, grab them, push them back and let them know that you're serious. And you're a human being. You're not an object that that gets to be tossed and thrown around. I really hope this helps. I really hope that anyone that's struggling with this, child or adult, that, you know, this benefits you and this helps you realize that it's okay to say no. It's okay to say, wait, stop, enough. You're not a punk for doing that. It's not embarrassing. It's better to speak up than to stay in that torture and that torment. And even if it's your, your own parents, even say if you're a teenager or, or, or whatever, and you're living with your parents and they say something that triggers you and, and this and that, just try to stay calm. And if they try to verbally or, or any way abuse you, also set those boundaries and say, you know what, this is how you're making me feel because you're doing this and saying this. I need you to stop, please. Try to keep it cool, even though it's very upsetting and you're tired of it. Let them know, hey, this is not okay. I need you to stop. And if they don't stop, then go take a walk. I know there's only so much you could do because you're under someone's roof, but walk out, take a walk in the, uh, you know, around your neighborhood, listen to music, do something that you like, do something that will uplift you to get away from that negative environment. Join a boxing class, kickboxing, jujitsu, do, you know, do something that will keep you moving and build your confidence and stay away from that negativity because That is from people that are hurt themselves. They basically bring and pass down more hurt to generation to generation. And it's up to you to say enough. And that's it. I'm done. I want nothing to do with this. I know who I am and my worth and you need to stop. And if they don't, create boundaries and walk away. This is a very serious issue. It has been um, for generations. And I just hope that this helps someone and encourages someone to say enough and stop. And if you witness it in in other people's lives, say something. It's not worth it to see in the news or or see or hear from a friend that, oh, you know, our uh, friend so-and-so, his son, yeah, he took his life and you knew what happened or you kind of got word of it. Say something, speak up, stand up for them. And sometimes people, even knowing all this, they still struggle with standing up. Then sometimes they need other people to stand up for them too. So keep that in mind. All right. Thank you for your time. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the podcast and listening in. I hope you guys have a great Friday and God bless you. All right. Any requests you have, um, hit me up on YouTube or Instagram. It's rise underscore podcast 1111. I'm here to encourage and to help whoever's willing to listen. All right. God bless you guys. Take care and have a great one.